What do we use the key for? Drop this one. Right ahead. Why didn't you notice that when you were right next to it, but you noticed a half a mile away? Metal door. You used the key, alright. Well, what happens if we go back this other way there? Thank you for the auto save. And I'm off. Ah, oh. Let's end it. Ah. Ah. Oh, all right. Yes. Battle it is then. Ah. 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 Novice Cauldron. Tame Deep Stalker. They got some tame Deep Stalkers. Have a look what they look like. <laughs> they look like a weird leech thing. Little leechy velociraptors or something. Life stone. All right. Dwarven war axe. A tame bronto. Hmm. And a long sword. In a way. I don't know. I suppose it's a rhino with lots of armor on. <laughs> Excuse me. Another tame Bronto and some notes. Orvin helmet. Jammer stash bomb. Need a key. Where would we get a key for Jammer stash bomb? One of these, is it? Alright. I'll focus. Lyrium potion. Going. A rock salve. Come back down here when we get the key, then I guess. Oh yeah, talking of uh, lyrium potions, I've also changed Morrigan's tactics a little bit because obviously she's healing and. Is kind of important, especially if you have big fights like we just did. So, if we look at Mara again in a minute. What I've done is I've changed her to heal anybody's health who drops below 40%. And instead of using Drain Life, I've told her every time her health or, well, mana gets down to about 30%, she can use a Lyrium Potion to chuck it back up. So, like, she, ideally, she should never run out of MP so she can heal us. Yes. How's that? Is that a bucket of water? Or is that like a turtle shell? Gather your party. Oh, look, we come outside in the uh, Janar shop. Ah! By all the beards of my ancestors, how did you... Where did you come from? <laughs> you made a hole in my wall! That hole leads to a tunnel to the carter's hide it. You, do you have anything to do with the carter? Yes, you should get it fixed. It... it does? Oh, sod it. If people find out about this, my business will be ruined. They'll think I have something to do with Jarvia. 
Uh, you didn't know about this? Don't worry about it. Drive is dead. Dead? How? Did you... You did, didn't you? You killed her. And then you climbed out of there into my shop. Oh, just leave me alone. I don't want anything to do with this. And if anyone comes asking, I'm going to tell them you did it. All right, you got that. You again. Here to buy something, or were you just thinking of wrecking another part of my shop? I was going to wreck a part of your shop. Of course. Uh, keep in mind, we also take items on trade. All right, mate. Well, here, have a Dwarven Oryx. Have a Dwarven Longsword. Have a Longsword. Have a... That's minus one dexterity, so yeah, probably going to get rid of that one. Have that. Have some fire arrows as well. Two physical resistance, tier four. Uh, keep those for a minute. Tier five boots. Tier four armor. I mean, we got six Lyrian potions anyway, so yeah, that should do. Have a silver chalice, because that's what it's there for. Yeah, pretty sure that's everything. Oh yes, for future reference, um, for those who are unsure, when it comes to picking up the daggers and the necklace from car to hideout, the correct ones to pick up are the iron letter opener and the garnet trinket. So make sure you pick those two up and not anything else to save yourself the time and trouble of picking up all of the injuries that you don't want. I did the experiment, so you don't have to. I want that key. Where do I get that key from? I did notice on my run back through as well. I'm going to go back there now and show you. There was a couple of extra houses that are now or are able for you to go in in Dust Town. And I can't remember whether I went in them or not, so we'll do it now. This one here. Alimar. What are you looking for? We got nothing to buy for the likes of you. Or maybe you wanted to sell. Doesn't look like a store, never mind. Let's have a look. Of course. Got fire arrows, knockback bolts. And Teven crossbow. 12, 3, 10, 50. Tier six. Thinking about taking putting her back to a bow as well, actually. Tier four. Ten crit backstab damage. Armor penetration. Senior enchanter's robe. Two willpower. Two magic. Six defense. And three damage. The ones we got, tier 7. Remarkable Amethyst. And he's got a lot of... Poisons. All right. There's so many different poisons and traps and stuff like that. Never going to manage to do them all. The other one was down here. Jarvia supporters. They're obviously going to attack me, aren't they? So you're the one who killed Jarvia. Do you know what you've done? Jarvia was no paragon, but she looked after her own. Even the nobles wouldn't cross her. If you think we're going to let you waltz around like you own the place, you're wrong. For Jarvia, attack!
Yeah. That was nice and easy. And then there was this one. I can't remember whether I walked in this one either. Oh yeah, we did do this one. This is where we got attacked when we walked through the door. Or we bullied them for information anyway. Right. Hopefully now that we could move on, tell these people who's king, get our support. I think next we'll do the major circle to get that out of the way, because once we've done the major circle, we can also sort out the red cliff situation, and then all that's left to do is the dwarves. <laughs> There's dead bodies everywhere. <laughs> Uh, we've got to go back to the noble thing, haven't we? I handed my last nug over to the guy as well on the way past. He gave me this. A dead metal bucket. 25 mental resistance. Tier 6. Quite a lot of armor, though. So I think now that is all the nugs. Where is he? He's over here, isn't he? I heard the news. Jarvia and her Carter are dead. I suppose it was unrealistic to expect them to surrender. I didn't ask, really, to be honest with you, but it's done. We speak to the assembly now, offer them mercy, but they chose to fight. They were vermin, I cleaned them out. I didn't offer them mercy, though, that's the thing. I have no desire to go back on my word, but when Balin heard the news about Jarvia, he raised the stakes. He is forcing a vote in the next two days. By law, that prevents the Assembly from hearing any other pleas. To help with your troops, I will require your assistance one last time. Do you know anything of the Paragon Branca? Always another step. Get to the point. <laughs> they have the name. Did she disappear? The Assembly raised her to Paragon for inventing a refuel. As a Paragon, she outranks even the Assembly. Were she to support me as king, this awful debate would be over. We'll get to the throne, I will find Branka. What if she's dead? Are you sure Branka would support you as king? It's hard to say what she would do. She wasn't exactly known for her predictability. She never seemed to like being a paragon. She was devoted to her craft, never cared for politics. But one of the most brilliant minds Orzammar has seen. Branka hated Darkspawn with a passion. She would certainly be a valuable voice to support your treaty. Ah. Uh. Her entire house went with her. It would take a lot to kill so many. If not, bringing proof of her death or a body to return to the stone would still show that as an ancestor, it was my hand she guided to her remains. My men traced Branca's disappearance to an ancient crossroads known as Caradin's Cross. It is many miles below where we normally venture, but I can provide a map to lead you there. Just enter the deep roads through the mines. Thank you again, and may the ancestors guide your steps. Bitch. Morrigan got a level up, which means we're close to leveling up too. Yet another thing we gotta run around and do just to get what we need. I've gotta pop back to camp anyway, because uh Morrigan and the dog are having injuries, which we need to get rid of. As you could probably well see now, there is a couple of changes I've made while I went back to camp to heal the injuries to the dog. Um, most noticeably, of course, I've left Liliana back at home, and I thought I'd take Shale with me for a change. I put, um, the clear crystal we had on him, because it gave him bonus to nature damage, health regeneration, and constitution in combat. And I've left that on him, because I don't really know what else to put on there. Spirit resistance would probably be the best against Darkspawn, I'd imagine, but... Nature Resistance was the next best one. Uh, skills wise, he's got his own set of skills. So he's got like 
Hog of Rising Blows, Stone Heart, uh, Rock Mastery, and Aura. They all give like bonuses to party members. So, for instance, this one uh, penalty. I know that offensive talents taking a penalty to defense in exchange for a bonus of damage. Gains additional bonus to damage with Quake. Shale gains a bonus armor penetration with Killing Blow. Uh, this one allows defensive talents and gains bonus to armor and elemental resistance while nearby enemies become more likely to target Shale. Bellow, Stone War, and Regenerating Burst increase the effects. Stone War gives Shale a bonus to health regeneration and regenerating burst gives bonus to health regeneration and stamina regeneration and then so like so all of these offer like different things some of them offer like abilities to your party members as well so whenever stone aura is that if she gains bonus to armor party members within the aura receive additional bonuses to armor health regeneration and stamina regeneration to spell power spell power so I thought I'd give him sort of a little test out because I never really used him, so it'd be nice to see what he can do. And, you know, just somebody else up front, Margot supporting, I suppose. Other things that have changed um, Bob had a level up, so I gave him like one point in strength, one in constitution, one in dexterity, and he had a perk. I don't know if I, you can't really see it here. But he had a perk that um, he jumps on top of enemies and claws at them like the spiders do to us. So I gave him that. And then other thing, as you can see, I'm skint again. I went to the guy to drop some stuff up to make room for the deep roads. And at the same time, I brought some more gear. So I've now brought myself a tier 7 Grey Warden Longsword. So it's even stronger again. And I gave... Uh, Alistair, the one, the tier 6 that I had, I gave him that one because we're going into the like the deep roads. Oh, you did have Duncan's sword, which is good against Dark Spawn as well, but this does more damage, so I gave him that. Um, what else did I do? I also brought a new shield, so now we've got tier 7 Dragon Bone Shield. So now I brought one for me and one for Alistair. So we're both boosted up on that. And then obviously the last person I brought was Morrigan. Now I tried to bump up Morrigan as best as I could. So she's got a tier 7 arcane hood now rather than a tier 6. Um, she's got tier 7 Grey Warden arcane robes. So... I wanted to keep her in her original outfit, but at the end of the day, this, this time she needs an armor boost. And this sort of gives her a huge armor boost, but only drops down the magic plus one. So it made sense. And then I brought her a tier seven arcane boots as well. So all she really needs now is tier seven arcane gloves, and she's good to go. However, the uh, staff that the guy was selling wasn't that great it was a, it offered the same damage penetration range and spell power but didn't come with any of the bonuses so i didn't see the point in upgrading her staff but hope i think we got one somewhere i might have put it in the box actually now i think about it but i don't know for now she'll have to stick with the same staff and that's about it Let's head off to the deep roads then. I didn't have enough point like money to get anything else armor wise for us, but we're slowly getting there, slowly but surely. Look at the way Shale runs. He looks like a shitter sir. <laughs> it's all again. Are. I thought I'd spoken to a Grey Warden, but for some reason I chalked it up to the drink. I know you're down here to look for Bronca. And, uh, I need to ask a favor. That's how to butter someone up, to ask them to help. Uh, why not? Everyone else does. <laughs> You're Ogren, right? You've been trying to get help to find Branky, right? Name's Ogren. And if you've ever heard of me before, it's probably all been about how I piss ale and kill little boys who look at me wrong. <laughs> and that's mostly true. 
But the part they never say is how I'm the only one still trying to save our only paragon. And if you're looking for Branca, I'm the only one who knows what she was looking for. Which might be pretty sodding helpful in finding her. And what is it you want in return? Cut to the chase, you can come if your info is good. Why haven't you gone after her yourself? I heard she was looking for some ancient technology. I know what Bronca wanted, and how she was looking. You, I assume, know whatever Harrowmont's men have dug up on where exactly she disappeared. If we pool our knowledge, we stand a chance of finding Bronca. Otherwise, good sodding luck. I don't know. Will you behave yourself? Don't I have enough armed lunatics following me already? <laughs> Perfect. What's one more? Bronca was a brilliant girl, but half the time she'd add two and two and make it fifty. <laughs> you want to find her, you need someone who knows how she thinks. Cross me and you're dead. You should know that Bronca was looking for the Anvil of the Void. The secret to building golems, which was lost centuries ago. The smith Carradin built it, and with it, Orzammar had a hundred years of peace, while it was protected by the golems forged on the anvil. As far as anyone knows, the anvil was built in the old Orton Taig. Branca planned to start looking there, if she could ever find it. All she knew was that it was past Carradin's cross, no one's seen that tag for 500 years. What, you mean like the golem that's following behind us? Uh, we got a map. If Harrowmont tracked it down, it's only because he's got whole teams of loyal soldiers who can do the searching for him. If we're going, let's get moving. Bronca's not gonna sodding find herself. Uh... Pigeon crap. Fast and damnation. Yes. Indeed. Oh, we could have Ogren as a party member. We can finally get rid of all that wine we got sitting around in our storage. Be careful out there. Oh, so, alright, we can just walk past them there. I thought it would have been interesting to see the like the dwarves' reaction to me having. Oh, it's the I do can tie. Carolyn's cross. Should we go back there and see what happened? Oh, isn't it lovely to be back? These used to be highways as busy as any surface trade route. Looks like only the military travel here now. I must mean there's something interesting down here then. But yeah, I was interested to see if the Dwarven that dialogue changed in any aspect. If we brought Shale with us, who is a golem, obviously. But I suppose the Shale additional content was added a while after, so... Yeah, I suppose it wouldn't really change now I think about it. But let's throw in a quick save before there is some down here. That way, if it's completely wasted, I can just reload the save and cut it out. Let's have a look, shall we? As you can see directly in front of us, there is dark spawn down there, so there is something worth checking out, I think. But I've tried five times now to walk down there and fight the dark spawn, but every single time I do, as soon as the fight begins, the game crashes. So I'm not sure what that's all about, but we'll leave it for now and then we'll come back bit later and hopefully it works but yeah I have no, absolutely no idea why that crashes let's hope that's not a an omen for things to come to be honest I've never really thought about coming down here before so I don't know if we're, this is supposed to be shut off or like um loathering i thought that would be covered in dot form by now but it must be when you get to a certain point in the game 
We got a bunch of two XPs. Carriage cross. Have a wonder at it. Well, two. look what we have here. A couple of Haramont's little lackeys. Let's show them who's king. Not you. Oh, I got knocked half a mile across the floor. I'm gonna go deal with that mage quickly before. The shell barely took a scratch in all of that. Mm. Nice. I have just mm. thought, though, now that we don't have Liliana on our team, there goes our rogue for pick locking chests and stuff. How many other forms can the Swamp Witch become? Several. Lesser health, greater lyrium. Can it become. Lesser Come health, golem. greater lyrium. Seeking. Greater companionship, lyrium. are you? If it could be. Large floor. That's what we're after. Large floored spirit crystal. For the dark spawn. Become a golem. I simply wonder why it would not stay that way. It is a superior form. No, I cannot become a golem. I can learn to become animals, and each form must be learned anew. And how does it learn a form? Does it read about it somewhere? <laughs> it is not a talent one can read from books. You must copy a creature's soul. I do not understand. Nor should you. Rock is unchanging. Allow it to stay that way. Uh, let's level up Marga while we're here. Willpower. Uh, put two in magic. Pass here. The caster specialized in direct attacks, making a mage staff gain a permanent bonus to damage from basic attacks. That would be lovely. Thank you. In that way, we'll go over oh, here now. We might as well go down this way first. Let's throw in a save before I go the wrong way. Be a dark form. Oh, no, it's a deep stalker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was trying to lead me back, wasn't he? Yes. He's luring me into a trap, bro. Don't do it. Don't fall for it. Told ya. Are these glasses going to fall? I don't know. Shale spirit damage, it does quite a nice amount. Wasn't much of a trap, but it was an obvious one, I'll give you that. Hmm. Small bloody sap. Head in a bag. I'm gonna have to bash this open now because Liliana's not here. Dwarven heavy boots. Thank you. Frost rock. Can we go any further? It looks like we can. Nah. Must be a different way. We found a head in a bag. What is that?
Oh. Another fake ambush. Wow, there's a lot of dust. A lot of deep stalking. Shale's barely taking any damage here at all. Like, he's just a powerhouse. Almost a little bit too easy. Uh, let's go this way. Smell of Didn't you want to get involved? Greenstone. Deep mushrooms. That I have to decipher on the mini map. What's what? The dark spawn by the looks of this. Oh, they got one of those rhino things. We got... Archer, Archer. It's probably Sword and Shield, dude. There's more at the back here. I can't see. Oh, I can. But they got a ballista as well, so... <laughs> Let's throw it a quick save. So, before we push on through the deep roads and kick in all the Darkspawn ass on our mission here, there's a couple of things I need to explain first. Uh, firstly... This is essentially a whole new game at this point. I had a lot of problem with the game crashing at certain points. It crashed in the other tunnel and then when I got to this point I did this battle. Uh, just a heads up obviously. They, you got these few darkspawn here and then you got some more just up there. Sometimes it would crash here, sometimes it would crash with those. Occasionally I could do like the whole thing and it would crash in the next battle. And it was really annoying, I just couldn't do anything about it. So I tried to jiggle things around. Uh, thought it was a problem with the game in the end, so I ended up repairing it all. Repairing the game files. Which removed all of my mods. And then that inadvertently caused the game not to load. So I reinstalled all my mods, but they still wouldn't let me load my game files or anything like that. So um, in the end... I just the only thing I could do was start a whole new game which I've done I ran back through all of the game to get back to the point I was at so here we are I've done I tried to choose the same dialogue, dialogue options and buy the same gear and whatever else um, so I've done Soldier's Peak done the Red Cliff up to the point where you've got to try and save the kid um, got Sten I've got the Golem and obviously you rescued the Mabari. A couple of things are slightly different. The Merchant of Soldier's Peak, where I was buying all of the tier 7 armor for all of my companions. For some reason, he's not selling it this time. So, I don't know if it changes from game to game or what. But yeah, for some reason, he's not selling it. So, he was selling one set of Grey Warden armor. So, I brought that for myself. So, I'm wearing Grey, tier 7 Grey Warden armor and stuff. Didn't have the decent helmet, so I'm wearing the helmet of Honolith, which we got from a mission which I gave to Sten last time. He was also not selling tier 7 Grey Warden Blade, so I'm running with Duncan's sword at the moment because it's good versus Darkspawn while we're down here. And he obviously didn't have a tier 7 Grey Warden sword, uh, shield, so I'm running with Kaelin's, which is not too bad, really. Uh, and I've pretty much got all the same rings and stuff. I think I've chosen all of the same perks and stuff like that. I can't remember what level I was at on the last one. So I think we're about the same. As I said, I've done all the same stuff. So should we, we should essentially be at the same point. As for Alistair, obviously I can't buy him tier 7 stuff because he only had one set. So he's currently wearing the Grey One Commander 
stuff that you get from beating Sophia at Soldier's Peak. And he's running with Kaelin's Blade, because again, it's good versus Darkspawn. And he's got this shield, because it's a decent shield, or the be one of the best ones I've found. Other than Kaelin's. So, I just gave him that. Morrigan, again, I can't buy her the Grey Warden mage stuff, so... She's just got random stuff that I found... Thought about. These gloves are crap, obviously, for her, but... It was armor at the end of the day, and that's all. That's all she could wear. <laughs> and I found these, which give her better defense and dexterity. So, you can tell from my money, we're a lot well, a lot better off now that we can't waste all the money on <laughs> tier seven stuff. But I've just been like purchasing the best stuff I could find from merchants at the time. I, we can look at my inventory here as well. Um, I noticed when I was doing my run through to get back here, the merchant at um, no, the Grey Warden camp before you start the main battle, he's selling a backpack upgrade, so I purchased that. I can't remember whether I did last time. I don't think I did. And the dwarf that you rescue at uh, Lothering, when he gets to your camp, he's selling backpack upgrades for seven gold as well, so I purchased one of those. I might buy one more just to make it a hundred and leave it at that. That should be enough, but yeah, we've got a bit more room now, so I don't have to keep going back to camp and placing my gear. Uh, I decided to give Liliana actual bow this time. I think it's better than the crossbow. And this is the, one of the best ones I've found so far. And then I tried to take hostility off her with this armor upgrades, aim time. So yeah, that's where we're at. I think everybody's affinity is roughly at the same point as well. I don't know. Can't remember what it was at. I think we're all roughly the same level. Again, I don't know. I can't remember where we are at, but we're level 13 there. Tried to pick the same perks. So, oh yeah, there is one other thing as well. Um, the Liliana's ability. Don't tell me. Uh, stealing. I've been testing it to see what it does, and I've been using it since I started this. It is actually really good. As soon as you get Liliana, you want to rob from everybody. You can steal an endless supply of, like, poultices and gems, occasionally decent weapons and stuff like that. Literally everybody you come across in any town, whatever, you don't get in trouble for it. Some people might be slightly higher than your stealing ability, so you can't steal. But if you get, if, ste if the stealing fails, there's no downside to it. So if you want like an endless supply of stuff, you, what you want to do is, like I say, just pick the ability and then obviously we can't rob our companions, but you just hover over somebody, like imagine that was a person. Uh, you just hover over them, click on it, you'll run up to them and just steal some up from them. It's a good way of getting loads of supplies and stuff like that. So. It's worth bearing that in mind. So anybody I've come across at this point, I've also st stole from them. So, but yeah, other than that, we're back to where we were, and yeah, we could now press on. So hopefully now we can battle these darkspawn without the game crashing. I've also lowered the uh, graphics slightly as well. I think that might solve the issue. Well, my original game, but at the end of the day, it's too late now, so... Hey, let's go. So, that's going to do it for this episode. I just want to take a quick second to say a massive thank you for those of you who are watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please consider smashing that like button or dropping a sub. You don't have to, of course. It's entirely up to you, but it is free and it just helps my channel grow a little bit more. Most of all, though, I just want to say again a massive thank you for those of you who are watching. And I hope to see you all in the next one.